everyone welcome back beautiful people yeah, yeah. <laughs> this look is going to be inspired by my birthday because you know it's your girl's birthday on the 19th yeah, yeah. i don't know why i'm saying that a lot but that's fine i'm mean, that super hyped up anyways how do you like my hair it's so cute huh i mean having layers doesn't really help but that's fine i feel it myself and so i know time Technically, January birthday babies, January baby birth. Anyways, those January is supposed to be ruby colored stone. Um, so it's not burgundy or anything, but that's fine, you know, because I love purple. Purple's my favorite. If I had a purple lipstick, I would have done a purple lip lipstick with this look. If you have purple, you can definitely use it. Anyways, so. I added also yellow to it just cause, you know, I'm the sunshine. Duh. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys like this look. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for subscribing if you didn't already have it. Anyways, okay. Oh, and uh, follow also my Instagram page, which is Sugar Snaps. Pulley. Twitter's Sugar Snap Pulley. I will also have it down below if you don't you know, follow me already. So yeah, okay, bye. So we're gonna start off with this big fluffy brush and I'm putting on yellow, yes, yellow. I'm doing it in a C shape as you see me going right there. And it's basically just covering the corner of your eyelid as well as the top of the crease. Now we're having um, like four sections. Okay, so this is the first section and it's going to go to the highest top of, of your crease. So it's going to be kind of like if it were on your tip of the brow bone going into your crease. That's the area that you want to put it on. And for my hooded eye gals, you're going to go ahead and put it closest to the crease as possible. It can be up to where your eyebrows are. That's totally fine. Um, see that I'm pointing right into my crease. That is where I'm putting this orange color. Yes, it's orange. And again, I'm doing kind of like that C shape. So it's also going to go into the corners of or the corner of my eyelid which is only the outer part of my eyelid and then to blend it into that yellow I am doing circular motions do not press hard when you're doing those circular motions it is going to be very light kind of like a feather is is going on your lid that's how soft you want it to be um, put as many layers if you need to make it look vibrant um, I do recommend good lighting if you really, really want your eye uh, eyeshadow to really uh, be very vibrant. Then we are going to go in with a flat, fluffy brush. Now I am getting two colors. It is going to be a darker purple with also a lighter shimmery purple. I'm blending those two together. I am going up to the crease where, where the crease starts. So like from your lid going up, it is where your crease starts. That's where I'm... I'm putting it up to and then I'm just going to go back in with that same brush um, that I use for the orange and just blending it but this is just the first part and then we get on to that part where it's a small little brush it's still kind of fluffy not too fluffy it's gonna get I'm gonna go in with the same colors but this time I'm gonna make sure I get that darker purple just to put it in that crease right there and I'm, I'm making sure that that purple is very, very, um, 
outlined i guess you can say i i don't know how to really say it but you see here when i'm blending i'm not really blending i just wanted to not have a very harsh line and the reason why is because i want you to see where that where that purple kind of ends and goes into the orange and then goes into the yellow i i want you to see that that's that's kind of like the main focus and then i'm gonna go in with my finger and i'm gonna get the same two colors the dark purple with the lighter um lighter shimmery purple and i'm just patting patting it on I'm also kind of sweeping it on too and then I'm using kind of the tip of the finger where it kind of really doesn't have too much of the color. I'm putting it into the crease and I'm kind of going back and forth because that's going to kind of blend it into that darker purple where we, where we uh, had put it in that crease. I love using my fingers to make sure that the, vibrant, the color looks very vibrant. Patting motion is, your key, is like the key to making sure your eyeshadow is very vibrant. And I'm doing it just again, making sure I'm getting all the corners cause you know, your finger isn't very like, little. I guess I could have used my pinky, but I didn't. And then I'm just gonna go back in with the fluffy brush and blend. Same here, I'm gonna go back in with the big um, brush and just add the yellow. And then here I am showing you how I do my eyebrows. So I do use the LA Color Browy Wowy pencil and that pencil or that's not a pencil it's like a I don't even know it's a retractable pencil and I just use it just to outline my eyebrows now I only do this when I'm doing like glam looks like this when I'm actually trying and again it's only to outline my eyebrows and then I'm gonna go in with the oh also too you see how i like on the top i don't go all the way to the end of the starting point of my eyebrow it's more the bottom part that i go all the way to each corner and then i'm gonna use the nyx um brow i don't even know what it's called anyways i'm using the retractable pencil from nyx cosmetics and i'm just filling in more of the sparse area areas of my eyebrows and then I'll just go in and uh, brush it out and make sure to blend it and you see here that I'm gonna go back into that part right there just because I noticed that that's always like my sparse area I don't know why but I'll also use my fingers to kind of like blend right there you see blend out the tip of my eyebrows just because I don't want to look too bushy yeah Ooh. and then I'm gonna go in with my um, I don't know why I'm so out of breath. <sighs> um, my light concealer, which is number 10 in the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I'm going to use this very flat brush just to go ahead and carve my eyebrows. Just to make sure if I got any darker uh, brown color on my brow bone. Yeah, on my brown bone, it's not noticeable. Now you can go in with light. Honestly, my favorite is probably the um, medium coverage just because it's not so noticeable when I'm carving. It blends into also my foundation. So if you see, I'm going to also go up on top of my eyebrows to do this. I normally do this for only glam looks, but yeah. So then I'm going to go on my waterline with this LA Color Girl. LA, LA, oh my goodness. It is the LA Girl shockwave neon eyeliner and it is in the color ice screaming i think it's ice screaming yeah ice screaming and you see here i'm not used to putting any color on my water lid but i did and then i'm gonna also go ahead and use that same brush that we used for that dark uh purple that i used in um my crease like you know that one look that I said that it, that's like the, gonna be the point anyways I'm using that brush and I'm also getting the same colors that I use for my lid so the darker purple with the lighter shimmery purple and I'm just gonna go in and where your lash line bottom lash line is at, and I'm just gonna 
just go back and forth and I kind of connect it to the end of my eye. And then same thing, I'm going to use also the yellow to go um, underneath the purple just to make sure I'm blending it. And I did add more purple on top of that just because I felt like it wasn't enough. And also here I am using the yellow for the inner corner. Oh, and um, to go back where the water, I mean the lash, bottom lash line is at, I did add brown just close closest to the bottom lashes as possible just to give that effect of it going from yellow purple to darker purple but i didn't want to put a darker purple i just put brown and it worked well and also i'm using my finger to blend out that yellow and then i'm gonna go in with a yellow um a yellow oh gosh a yellow eyeshadow to make sure you know to make it pop but i hope you guys like it thank you so much for watching and i'm using the same brush just to blend it out and here is the finishing look yes queen yes oh get it work it yeah bye